All right, so this is probably going to be a two-part video as well. Uh, here we are, it's 2022, and I have probably a 15-plus-year-old phone here, a Motorola C139. Uh, I had never messed with Osmo Com BB before and Calypso BTS, uh, but read about it, thought it was pretty interesting. So what I wanted to do was get the Calypso BTS software uh, compiled and able to run on a newer operating system. So in this case, Dragon OS Vocals based on 20.04. Uh, messed around with it for a while, tried various different things, finally got it built and working. And um, so, you know, some other in individuals have uh, been nice enough to test this and confirm that everything works. I have to create some workaround to make this work because you really need existing uh, GSM uh, to to actually have something to sync to because the phone if you read up on this uh, needs um, to sync to an existing GSM network and then the phone itself can become a base station and um, and run a GSM network basically ideally you need two phones to really get like multiple time slots and be able to have a phone connect and, and make calls on it on, on that network if you only have one um, think you can really only do text messages um, so so just to be clear the C139 uh, I actually ended up getting two of them for next to nothing one has a software version of 1.0.24 which is uh, found underneath the battery on the little um, sticker that comes on the phone that one works the other one is a version 1.9.24 it looks like and that's a whole nother uh, can of worms to to get that working um, so we'll just focus on the the one that does work so I have it powered off right now the phone you can see I have the probably the US version is um, GSM 850 in, in uh, 1900 you can see there's some information on here uh, there's where the Calypso comes from and you know this bootloader what it's saying down here kind of threw me off for a little while uh, but I'll show what ended up what I think is working for me on this particular phone could vary on another phone the other thing I have is uh, a cable like this well basically this cable here you can make one you can do some other research find them elsewhere or just go to the site here but uh, that's USB plugged into the computer uh, I've actually had to unplug it once and plug it back in. So right now, it's uh, coming up as a TTY USB one. So I keep that in mind when I'm doing this. So really, I'll just kind of push that to the background. What I want is in Dragon OS Focal the next release. You know, as long as there's no issues here, there'll be a folder Calypso BTS. And trying to simplify it, uh, there's the loader, which we can see. It is compiled and working. And then the transceiver is the other important part. That's compiled and working. And then there's a firmwares folder that's going to have uh, firmwares in there. And then configuration files for once you are able to sync it, then you can use Osmo Network in the Box and other things that are already installed in Dragon OS and those configuration files to get your network up. I'm not going to be able to show that part right now. I'm really I'm just going to show kind of loading the firmware on the phone and, and some of the things that uh, you can see on the screen and then uh, so it'll be a shorter video if I figure everything else out or can actually do a full demonstration then I'll I'll come back to this but um, at least you know others can get up and running with this or test it or whatever they want to do so right now I'm in the user source clips of BTS directory where there is a firmware's folder, I'm going to use the E86 folder, which works for me. And uh, instead of going right to the TRX firmware, we'll do the RS, uh, RISI uh, bin file here. You'll notice I have it set for US, TTY USB 1. So I'm telling the loader, hey, the device is at TTY USB 1. I'm using the dash M. You can see your options here. What I found works for me which seems to send the something like the magic number one for this I guess is unique for this C139 phone it sends that and then 
let, loads the firmware basically right after that. So uh, the Dash S, not totally sure if I need that, but I added that on there. And then the Dash C and the firmware. So that's pretty much it. There's other tools uh, that were in the Osmocom BB and whatever that you can do some research and maybe I'll look at include those that can do other things with the phone but I just wanted to focus on the Calypso BTS so I hit enter phones there wait and I reach over I'm gonna hit uh, the power button really quick I'm not gonna turn the phone fully on just hit the power button we can see it kinda does the chain loader like it talks about and then now it's sending the firmware to the phone I look down at the phone, I've got a little menu on there uh, where I've got the Urson, the frequency, and power. I can left, right on the uh, keypad here. You can see it's affecting what's on the screen there. Uh, but really, I don't, I don't have anything to... There is, uh, let me think, so... So that's Urson 200, frequency... 883 I don't I mean maybe there's something else there because uh, I actually do have signal there almost feel like that's probably something else that's not uh, GSM nowadays because there's really no 950 but if I do like 613 and uh, change it to PCS I don't know. There's nothing. There's nothing there. But anyways, this is this firmware enables you to basically do a survey of the GSM wireless and find uh, the strongest signal. That uh, arson would be what you would use when you go to use the transceiver here in a second to sync the phone to. Without that, uh, it, this this whole thing is it's not going to work. So let's see. I'll kill this, and then we'll just take a quick look at the other thing. So I just took the battery out, put it back in a second. Now we'll do basically the same thing, but we'll load the TRX firmware. Just hit enter, come down, quick tap on the power button, does the chain loader, starts loading the firmware see the clip so right there Oop. and so now I look down at the phone it's got uh, TRX and Osmocom BB on the screen and uh, it's it's basically just waiting for the uh, transceiver part so and if you're watching this and I missed something or, or there's a better way to do this uh, let me know so we would do sudo transceiver, we'll take a look at the options, and really we just need to set what we want to sync to, which I I don't really have anything unless I get another computer set up and maybe look at creating uh, my own GSM network. So if we just do dash A, um, Say I did a hundred, which is the arson that is when uh, Osmocom network in the box is running and whatever. There's nothing there, so now it would start the sync, but there's nothing to sync to. So that's about all I can show right now. I know that was kind of quick and and didn't really show everything working, but everything will be there uh, so that you could do your own research and uh, continue continue on now if I get get something set up I'll, I'll show the rest but that is a uh, 15 plus year old phone uh, with the with basically what's needed to run it and interact with it uh, compiled and running on Dragon OS Focal and then uh, yeah alright so uh, if I get the rest going I'll, I'll be back with uh, something something more about this uh, particular thing so all right thanks for watching